This is an H-quad made from welded aluminum towel rods. Disregard the fact that it's bent in this picture. I never got a shot of it while in good condition. It uses NTM 1200 kV motors, 30 amp Simon K ESCs, 9x5 props, and a 3000 mAh 4S LiPo. For FPV, I'm running a 200 milliwatt 5.8 GHz transmitter and the Horizon HD camera. It's stabilized by the DJI NASA Lite. After some acrobatic flights, I realized this quad would remain stable and level with the Horizon while in a free fall. This gave me the idea to use it as a high altitude test platform. These free falls don't always go smoothly. A lot of the time the quad had a hard time leveling back out. I took it out to this huge field to do more freefall experimenting. During this flight, I got 2100 feet up and did a successful freefall all the way back down. You can hear the motors freewheeling from the air rushing up from under the props. Here's a victory loop. I did more testing and it didn't always go so smoothly. In that last crash, the arm bent pretty bad. Then I decided to cut off the aluminum arms and stick a square wooden dowel through the opening. This worked really well for mounting the motors. I did some more test flights and it worked well. Here's some ground footage of it free-falling. It's about a thousand feet up and I used a 400mm lens to shoot it. Next I decided to attach two 3000mAh 4S LiPos to get higher up. In this flight I got 4040 feet high. The extra battery added too much weight for a stable free-fall. The crash caused the memory card to pop out and the video file was corrupted. I found this program to fix it. There's a link to where you can get it in the description. So I crashed somewhere in this field. And so far I'm walking a grid pattern to <coughs> see if I can see it, but I'm going to bring out <coughs> my Skywalker and try and find it using pictures from the GoPro. I did a lot of flying over the one square mile area I thought I might have crashed in. Out of the hundreds of pictures I took, only one showed a shape in the snow that could have been the quad. So I went to see if it was actually it. I think I see it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Oh, yes, finally. I've walked so far. Wow, nothing looks really broken. I just hope the batteries haven't run down from just being left plugged in for too long. Surprisingly enough, there's no damage. Next I decided to ditch the little propellers and get bigger ones to create more drag while in a free fall. To do this I needed motors with a lower KV. I ended up using these RC Manchild 750 KV multi-rotor motors with 14 by 5.5 props. I should have used smaller props, but surprisingly the motors didn't get hot with these big ones. Probably because it was cold outside and the air is thinner up here. In flight these motors spun much more slowly and smoothly than the NTM ones. I was very impressed with them and they have 12mm holes to bolt carbon props directly to. The first test fall went well. The quad fell much more slowly because of the increased drag. The next test proved that it didn't fall as stably as the smaller props. I was unable to level out and it crashed.
Next, I decided to build big drag flaps out of foam. They are mounted on hinges and fold down when the quad is rising. When it's descending, the air pressure pushes them up into a flat position. This greatly increases the surface area of the machine. The first test went well. They appeared to slow down the fall dramatically. In this flight, I went up 3,280 feet. The video looks weird because I replaced the stock lens on the Horizon HD with a wide-angle lens. An IR filter was connected to the stock lens, so without it the camera picks up infrared light, and thus the pink look. The quad fell very smoothly and slowly. When I started up the motors, it restabilized very easily. But then I decided to do another short freefall while coming into land. That didn't go so well. Nothing got damaged very badly. During this flight, the air temperature was 0 degrees Fahrenheit. I flew up to see the sun before it rose. My fingers almost froze off and it sucked. For the next flight I attached two batteries and intended to break my previous altitude record. I got 4,142 feet up, but then my Dragon Link system went into failsafe and the quad attempted to automatically return home. I regained signal and shut the motors off. I believe the drag flaps might have not folded up correctly and it started flopping around pretty violently. Surprisingly, I was able to get it stabled out and bring it in safely. To my surprise, all the flaps were torn off. I was happy with this altitude record and I did not intend to break it again, so I attached a GoPro for some free flying. I did a free fall and for whatever reason the motors did not start back up. It crashed and got pretty broken. That was the end of that quad. This project was a fun way to experiment with aerodynamics and the characteristics of a multirotor in freefall. Don't forget to subscribe. P.S. I'm selling a couple t-shirts on my website, so if you're interested, see the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.